Hello, and welcome back to On The Daily. In this episode, we are talking about the all or nothing mindset. So, you know, this this idea that we are kind of afraid of the middle and the middle, and but I'm not gonna talk about this in like the way most people talk about the all or nothing mindset that like small steps every day will make, you know, big things. Cause like, duh, that's true. And we're gonna talk about something a little bit deeper. So this episode will be really good for you if you are currently building a brand, if you're building a business, if you are trying to tap into yourself in a more spiritual way, this episode is for sure for you. So let's dive in. We are coming up on your last opportunity to purchase Money Boothing, which is my money mindset masterclass or mini program, I should say all about money mindset, how to shift your relationship with money, how to become a better conduit for money, how to create a passive income stream that is on monthly recurring revenue within your business. And no, I'm not talking about the MRR course that you bought for $497. I'm talking about how to actually set up your business in a strategic way so that you can have passive monthly recurring revenue all the time. And I'm also talking about running your business according to a lunar the lunar cycle, which is so important. And I don't know why more people don't do this because our collective energy is connected to the moon. The moon rules our emotions. And so when the moon, depending on where the moon is at in the sky, people are going to have different buying patterns. They're going to have different energy. And so I'm going to teach you about that. I'm also going to teach you where to look in your chart for how you are meant to make money. And it's a really, really great mini program. It's all podcast style. So you'll get immediate access as soon as you register. And um, it's only available until the end of October. So I hope that you jump in. Okay, so this all or nothing mindset. Now, um, one thing that I, (laughs) it makes me think of like my son is my son and um, I was a theater major. So I have a flair for the dramatics. And um, I don't, I don't know if my son will have a flair for the dramatics, but he does now. And one thing like he'll, he'll like fall or he'll like, you know, the cats will scratch him and he'll like throw a fit and he'll be like, they scratched me. And one thing I always say to him is like, okay, but did you die though? No, you didn't die. So like, we're good. And then I started thinking about like actually kind of how, um, because I feel like a lot of people have that, like, oh, I didn't die though. Like, I'll be fine. Like, it'll be fine. And fine is just something that we've all as a collective kind of gotten used to as uh, acceptable. As long as things are fine, we're good, right? Like, oh, but I didn't die though. And it's like very detrimental, actually. So I'm like checking myself a little bit right here, but that's a very like detrimental mindset. Like, oh, but at least I like, but did you die though? Like, why does it have to get that far? Like, why does anything in our life have to get so far that your the the rationale you have behind it is that you didn't die? Like, why can't those in-between moments actually be extraordinary? Why can't we get to a place in life and in business where like, we're not just looking for what we can settle for. We're, we're looking for like, actually what is the best choice and what's going to be the most abundant and the most delusional thing. And I feel like there's a lot of people that And this is the collective energy too. The collective energy is that you should just be grateful for what you have. Like you don't need, it doesn't need to be excessive, blankety, blank, blank, blank. But then what happens on the other side of that is that like things will get like pretty dire, maybe with our finances or with our body image or with the way that we see the world around us. We'll live in a lot of fear, but we are like fine with it because, well, it's not killing us. Like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but the things that like are nowhere near killing you can also make you strong. And I think that's what we have to get down to. So let's talk specifically about since this October is money month, let's like put this specifically towards the way we are with money, right? We get into functional free states with money where, you know, that meme where it's like a little cartoon character sitting in a built like in a room that's like fully on fire. And they're like, it's fine. I'm fine. 
That is exactly what I'm talking about. Like people with their finances are literally sitting in a burning building and they're like not burned up yet. So like, it's fine. I'll let this go a little bit longer because at least, because I haven't died yet. And as long as I don't die, like I'll be fine. And fine, if we break down the word fine, what I think fine stands for is fucked up, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. I don't ever wanna be fine. Like fine is not something that I want for my life. Fine is not something I want for my family's life. Fine is unacceptable. And if the relationship you have with your finances is like, yeah, like I, I'm i struggling paycheck to paycheck. Like there's always more month at the end of the money. Like I'm not able to pay my bills on time, but like, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not dead yet. I'll figure it out. That is such a low vibrational frequency and you will never have financial abundance with that mindset. You will never have financial abundance if that is your reality. Because the fact that we've allowed ourselves to use like dying as the baseline, eh, as long as we're, be- as long as it's better than dying. No, like that. That to me is so damaging and it's where so many people are with their finances. Like they can barely pay their rent. They can barely pay their mortgage, but they're like, yeah, but it's fine. I don't need more than that. I don't need more than barely getting by. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And even if you don't need it, you want it. So why are we trying to pretend that that's not the case? Why are we trying to get into this this space of, well, it was better than death. So like, I'm good. There is a whole world out there. And and the place where money coming into your life, there's a place where it becomes so easy to make money when we are no longer just accepting the scraps as good enough. When we're no longer accepting fine as the status quo. Like my status quo is delusional. If it's not delusional and fun and abundant, I don't want it. People treat abundance and freedom and like overflow like it's something special, like it's a treat they have to earn. That's not something you have to earn. That can literally be your birthright if you decide that it's your birthright. That frequency can literally be your normal. But in order to in order for something to feel normal, you must first normalize it. And unfortunately, we are not conditioned to see overflow, delusion, abundance as normal. We see that as selfish and greedy and unobtainable. So we have to change our mindset around this. You have to, you have to heal the relationship you have with money so that fine and barely making it and good enough are no longer parts of your vocabulary. They're no longer part of your reality. That's not something that you strive for. I don't strive for good enough. I don't strive for fine. Fine is bad. Good enough sucks. I don't strive for that. I strive for this is insanity. This is delusion. This is this is quite literally overflow defined. That's my standard. Anything above that is awesome. But that's the standard. And we have to get better as a collective at making our standards different. Because this like, you know, this this kind of like all or nothing, all or nothing is like helpful in this case, because a lot of people we've like, we've gotten to this, this place where we're like, you don't, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Like it can just be good enough. no. It can be good enough and know that you still want more and know that like more is on its way to you because you've developed the abundant mindset of like your thoughts, your feelings and your actions that are making you a better conduit for the life that you want. Sure, you're grateful for what you have because gratitude is a high frequency that attracts more abundance. But that doesn't mean that you have to accept fine or barely making it as good enough because the facts are it's not. It's not. It never has been. It never will be. Even if you feel guilty for saying that, that does not make it not true. 
It's still true, even if you feel guilt. It's the guilt you need to heal from that. It's the way that it's the way that admitting that overflow is something that you feel worthy of. It's the guilt of that you have to heal. It's not actually the fact that you're worthy of overflow. That is just, that's a given. You, what you have to heal is the feeling it gives you when you say that out loud. The guilt, the shame, the fear that you're going to leave people behind. Oh my gosh, so such a real one. No, and, and no, it doesn't have to be all or nothing, but don't go so far into, it doesn't have to be all or nothing that you start to accept good enough. Because too long of accepting good enough will keep you in not enough. And it will keep you in the belief that other people have more than you and you're just not worthy of it. But the reason you're not worthy of it and the reason you're not attracting more is because you have signaled to the universe that you're okay with struggling as long as you don't die. So the universe is like, well, that's easy. Okay, you're not going to die, but like you'll continue to struggle. Sure. The second you don't accept struggling or barely making it or fine as your status quo, the second you decide that that's no longer an option and you're no longer available for that is the second the universe goes, oh, okay, you're ready for more. Great. Here you go. And then you hit a new standard and then you have to normalize that level and then you're ready for the next level and then you'll have to normalize that level. But fine and good enough are just going to keep you in feeling like there's not enough. And then that's why you're not making more money. That's why you're not attracting more abundance into your life. And this is why I created Money Boo Thing because I'm literally going to teach you how to do this inside of that course. This course, that course is so good. Like it is so, so good. Um, and that's literally what I teach you inside of that course. So you can click the link in our show notes if you want to buy it. You can also slide into my DMs, Danielle underscore on the daily with the word money. And I will send you the info for it so you can purchase it yourself. But yeah, man, fine, fucked up, insecure, neurotic, emotional, not acceptable, not a part of my vocabulary. And it shouldn't be part of yours either. So with that... I'll see you next week. Love ya.